Hello, my cherry desk. Welcome back to a smart beauty. How are we all doing? How are we all doing all right? So, this video today, I just want to show you how I start my weekend. As you guys know, everybody is busy. Daddy busy, mommy busy, children busy. Friday is the day that everyone sits together and celebrate the beginning of the weekend. I love Friday, okay? I try to put the best meal on a table on Friday. So we can chit chat on the table when we're eating, ask about the week. As you can see today, I'm just bringing this simple meal. I just want to share with you guys. Also give you an idea and a tip. You what you can put on the table on your weekend without you just spend 10, 10, three, four hours on the kitchen, okay? Because you work the whole day. You're not gonna spend three hours. You're gonna be exhausted by the time the dinner is ready, okay? <laughs> so in this video today, we are making fish. People that know me know, I love fish and fish love me so much. I'm a fish lover, okay? <laughs> I don't eat meat much. So this fish called Dorado fish, I'm gonna put the name down below. So this is one of my favorite fish. I love this fish. So as you guys saw, so that was pepper mix. You can do pepper mix of your choice. I just put some paprika, green pepper, and, uh, and some, yeah, some seasoning and some you know rosemary yeah those kind of stuff just mix them together ginger paprika and um garlic mix them just marinate the, the the fish so as you guys can see i'm just punching some hole on that foil paper i wrapped down foil paper already so why i do this because this fish is going to barbecue and then my back here at my house my have barbecue house there so for the smoke, the smoke of the barbecue to go inside, to penetrate inside the fish, to penetrate <laughs> inside the fish. That is my husband putting the fish on a barbecue. This barbecue, you're going to use it to the thing is crying that your money is expired, madam, because this barbecue, my husband spent too much time this, building this barbecue. This so I take any chances to use barbecue, this barbecue, okay? <laughs> They'll be, hello, darling, can we eat chicken today? Put it in barbecue. Save me time as well. Anyway, with, the, uh, with that all said, this is yam. Anyone to come from Africa or the other part of the world, that is yam. And I already peel and just slice it. If Friday, you have to do something special. So I don't want to fry just seco or something. I just slice it like we are eating French fry, but in, in uh, with yam, all right? And this is plantain. I hear some people call it banana. This thing is not banana, okay? It's plantain. Stop calling this thing banana. It's not banana. It's plantain, okay? <laughs> Look at the way I'm saying. I'm very serious. All right. That is green, ripe or not ripe plantain. That is also going to barbecue. So let me tell you what I'm doing here. That is water, okay? Put your water in oil, so people are gonna say, Why are you doing that? It's gonna splash. No, my darling, it's not gonna splash everywhere. It's, it's even stopping this, you know, it's even stopping the oil splashing everywhere. Trust me. So, those people that love our fry yam, I don't fry yam always, but once in a while, do fry. So, for you putting that water in, in the oil, this yam is just gonna come out so moist like it's gonna melt in you it's not gonna dry because you know yam is different from french fries all right as you guys know because if you fry it direct from the oil it's gonna be dry it's gonna be strong by the time it's done by the time it's dry by the time it's you finish it you finish frying it so when you put that water on it it's gonna make you like heaven would i ever been to heaven before anyway don't mind me and it's gonna taste nice <laughs> okay so that is a good tip try it and thank me later okay when you try come to comment section and say hey smando you taught me well i try it and i love it okay look at that brown goody brown and it's also stopping the yam not to get burned when you put water in oil try it okay and it, it will taste by the time i finish fry this yam not even finished half of it it was already gone <laughs> My family was taking, they always do that. When I fry, fry plantain or so, like idodo, you know, they always do that. So they're just taking it from, I'm, I'm frying it, they're taking it up, 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 it's gone. So at least it's half of 15 minutes to the table, okay? 
this yam was delicious it was not dry at all it was just like when you open it up you see see the yam moist and it tastes so delicious i cannot say delicious enough okay <laughs> try it and thank me later yeah so that's all we do here just fry the yam while the barbecue is doing it eh? so the plant here so i put it in the barbecue so it's with the fish in in my backyard okay and yeah i just continue frying until it's done yeah so here this is another pepper mix this is for the yam and the plant here later it's almost similar to the uh, what i mean to to marinate the, the, the fish so just ginger, bell pepper, garlic, yeah, and later tomato will be coming in, and yeah, and put seasoning of your choice. So I just put some uh, rosemary, some uh, uh, chicken cube, things like that. So these tomatoes, let me tell you guys about the tomatoes. These tomatoes that I use, I don't know what the hell do they put inside. These tomatoes is delicious. When I make soup, make stew, anything I make with tomatoes, it is brand that I'm using from Italy. It's the best tomato you can ever use. And I stick with it. I'm not changing. As far as I don't change, I'm not going to change. Okay. So I just mix it very well. As I said, put some seasoning. Yeah. Just... This is for the yam and the plants here later. And I'm enjoying cooking when people is enjoy eating it. And don't come and knock my door because I'm not going to put up for you because I get no time. <laughs> this is was so Friday, okay? In the weekdays, everyone is busy. Okay. Anywho. <laughs> Dada, dinner is ready. Okay, so look at that yam. Look at that golden brown. And here, that is plantain. It's already from the barbecue. In Nigeria, we call it obole. It was mwah, yum, yum, yum. Uh, I told you, gonna eat healthy. This is the, this is the pepper mix. And the other side was uh, cucumber. We have to eat healthy, so we have to put some vegetable. And here, I just say, hello, honey. Can you open the fish up for me? Let people see that fish was delicious. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. By the time I tasted the fish, if you put this fish in your mouth, trust me, just gonna melt like butter in your mouth. My it was so so delicious. Ah, I love fish. Hey, fish love me. <laughs> You see the plate that was for my daughter because they don't like fish with head. For me, fish without head is no fish. Uh -uh. Do you ever see this is this is mommy plate? That fish have to have head in it. Okay. Then you see that is fish. If you put that fish without head, you're gonna be asking questions. What do I have on my table? Okay. When it's fish without head, you don't need to ask questions. Okay. <laughs> and just so nice wine. Play some music. Yeah. This is how we start our weekend. Imagine you have to pay money on this, on this meal on the restaurants. It's gonna be so expensive because that fish itself is expensive. Not too expensive compared when you make it yourself, okay? And you know what you make, all right? You know what you have on your plate because you make everything by yourself in your comfort zone. And that delicious wine was delicious. Yeah, this is how we start our weekend. Just so let me share with you guys so you can have an idea. If you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. Until the next time I come your way, I love you. And girls, we love you more. God loves you more. Bye-bye.